Hello everyone, this is Spiritual Insight Tarot, and today I will look what your person would like to say to you. How are they currently feeling? What obstacles are they facing? And even what are they hiding from you? It's a timeless video, so if you got drawn to this video, it means there is a message for you. And as always, what is not resonates, just leave behind. I will start with the Aries and I will finish with Pisces. All the time, timestamps you can find below the video in the description section. So let's start. So Aries, what the person is holding to themselves, what they wish to say and reveal to you. With the temperance reversed, your person has struggled to balance some aspects in their life. There is a sense of overindulging. It may be alcohol or other substitutes or just imbalance in friendships and connections. And they feel the need to make changes in their lifestyle to find alignment with themselves. I'm sensing a friendship between you both with the potential to become something more. However, at the moment, the external factors are waiting your person's shoulders. The commitment to work or creative projects takes all their attention. They could be overwhelmed by the challenges and responsibilities. And with the reverse fool at the back, they think very highly about you. You bring joy to their heart. And they wish to come towards you, but there are some obstacles that they have to overcome first. I also see that they could reach out of nowhere when you least expect. They're very curious about you and they really want to know more about you. And there's a tower moment. Some sudden changes are happening in a personal life. But these changes will bring alignment that is needed. With the lovers and such a beautiful image of this card with the bright sun, I'm seeing that the person thinks highly about you and they will be contacting you. There is a desire for romance. I feel that spring always brings passion and warmth in our lives. They might start to see in a completely different light after for a while being friends. However, with the reverse world, there is some level of uncertainty and doubts. And I'm strongly feeling that it's related with overall dungeons that I mentioned before. Your person has to bring and adapt needed changes in order to close the old cycle and open the new one. And with the reverse page of wands at the back, there will be some delays and setbacks regarding the communication. As I said, your person is making a huge decision at the moment, putting the end to something that is not serving them anymore. It could be that the person is healing from the past relationship. If it resonates with you, give some time to your person, get back on the foods. With the reverse temperance in the combination with the Three of Cups, especially looking at the imagery of Three of Cups, where water is spilling over while cats are drinking from it, this is a strong sign that the person has addiction for alcohol or other talk substitutes. From the positive side, it's also a sign of healing and with justice, I'm seeing that they are making the final decision of letting go this unhealthy behavior. Knight of Pentacles reflects that the person is a natural planner, hard-working person, and they have been methodically pushing themselves towards the goals. However, Ten of Wands reverse indicates that they are burdened with too much work and responsibilities. They could be aiming for promotion and very hardly working towards it. The commitment to the vision will bring the rewards. However, there are some setbacks, working hard but not seeing any results. With the Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Wands, they could be also dealing with a karmic cycle or lesson, where you must learn to be your own critic to fully develop your abilities. And with the reverse Three of Swords behind the back card, as I mentioned before, they could be dealing with the karmic past relationship, healing from the heartbreak. So Aries, give some time to your person. I'm seeing a potential from friendship to romance, but patience is needed right now. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now, I will move to Taurus. So Taurus, your person is feeling like the ground is shaking. They could be on the edge of the breakup. 
the sign of separation and crude between you both. They're feeling overprotective. If you're dealing with a breakup situation and you live together, they may feel the need to protect some part of your shared assets. With the reverse page of wands, I'm seeing that your relationship lost the spark. There is boredom, lack of excitement. If you wish to bring this relationship into the balance, make this relationship work, you'll need to put in some effort to bring some life back into your partnership. The strength card brings hope. There is an emotional strength of a person. It's a healing card, which reflects the potential to heal this connection and bring to the harmony and balance. This is a very strong connection between you two. You both may never imagine to be without the person who is always as strong for you. However, your connection has emotional outbursts caused by different values. You have to have something together in common to care about, which will bring more closeness between you two. This relationship teaches you to appreciate every day and to honor the little things, because it's the little things that always end up being the biggest things in our lives. It's also the kind of relationship where you honor each other different differences with a time. And as I said, maybe now your person feels insecure and is a bit hiding and under the breakup situation. However, on the good side, I'm seeing that your person will step up when you are too emotionally drained to stay connected with the situation. Some kind of truth will come to the light. Maybe now so much confusion in the situation. However, I'm seeing that situation will get better. The is sun. The fool indicates that the person have been in a period in their love life when they are unsure of what they are looking for. They may have been jumping from one relationship to another, and regret started to build up, and your person wants to travel back in time and do it all over again with you they loved and let slipped away through the carelessness. So overall, if you're on the edge of the breakup, there is very strong hope to heal this connection if you wish. You both can grow in the relationship and cherish what you already have, leaving the past conflicts behind your backs. So Taurus, I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now I will move to Gemini. So Gemini. I'm seeing the breakup, the separation. The tower indicates the fall caused by the external factors. And with the reverse three of pentacles, it's very likely that the breakup was caused by the third party. There is a transformative period that accompanies feelings of instability. Your person feels like a hurricane just ran through their life and they have a very hard time to move on. There are some hard lessons your person needs to learn from this relationship. The situation asks your person to identify what life lessons they seem to be repeating. They may have got caught in the same relationship pattern that leads to the same painful outcome. I'm seeing them feeling left out in the cold. This an emotional vulnerability. They may even have some financial issues besides the love life. They are in not good place currently. However, they have some nostalgic beautiful memories from the relationship with you. They still think about you. Your person may have fear for being alone. There is a desire for security and stable home. With the reverse five of cups and the reverse four of swords, I'm seeing the sorrow and spiritual exhaustion, the need for stillness and time for self-reflection. On the positive side, the cards, the cards are reversed, which indicates the healing. However, I'm feeling that the process is very, very slow. 
Your person has a very hard time to let go the past and move on. The cards advise us both of you to remember that the pain is temporary. You will heal and move on. The changes you're experiencing will only feel traumatic if you're resisting them. The things you must keep in mind is that the storm is over. It's time to move forward and not to be fixated on what just changed. There will be time enough in the future to emotionally process your recent transformation. For now, you must stay clear and focus on what your priority is at this time. And thank you for being with me today. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now, I will move to Cancer. So Cancer, the first card is the reverse sun. Your relationship is blocked out by the clouds. Lost joy, lost happiness. You and a partner may drift apart. It's likely that the two of you needed a little more quality time together to rekindle your romance. However, you had chosen to go separate ways. With the Queen of Cups and the strength, your person could appear like they're doing very well with the emotions. However, I'm seeing them screaming inside. They are suppressing the true feelings by appearing calm and balanced on the surface. All wounds and bitter memories flood your person's mind as they think about what happened. They may blame themselves of the past actions. These negative emotions are holding them back from moving on. And forgiveness is vital with the Five of Cups, both of yourself and others. With the Page of Cups and the justice behind, it could be some apologies coming from them. I'm seeing them wanting to contact you and make the right thing to bring the situation into the lightness in order to make their mind calm. The reverse sun, the reverse lovers and the hierophant together with their world clearly indicate separation, breakup, even the merge that drifted apart. The world expresses the closing cycle which will bring the new beginnings for both of you. So your person clearly wants to make things right, to put unresolved pieces of your relationship in a way that both of you would be able to move on. The cards indicate that this separation was the right decision. You both learned a lot from each other and grow a lot. However, this relationship is not serving you both anymore. There is no more space to grow. It's time to live with wisdom and open your heart for your new possibilities. Thank you for being with me today and I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now I will move to Leah. So, Leo, the first cards are the Reverse Chariot, Knight of Pentacles, and Page of Pink Pentacles. Things between you both are not progressing as fast as a person wish. Your person could be forcing things to happen between you both. If you're feeling pressure into moving your relationship into the next level, or I'm also getting a message of, of the pressure of a sexual encounter, don't allow yourself to be forced. Take a step back and reconsider the situation. Be clear with your values and be honest with your partner and set boundaries. I'm feeling pretty pushy energy from your person. And with the reverse sun of cups, I'm seeing that they have other choices as well. But they really want you and only you. There is a message for you from, the, uh, from this person that they desire to move this relationship between you both in the next level. With the reverse knight of wands and the reverse page of cups, they could be very impulsive and not thinking through. 
However, this impulsiveness may appear shocking to you, but I can calm you that they genuinely desire you. Their heart lights up when they are thinking about you. Ace of Pentacles indicates that offer is coming towards you. It's up to you if you accept it or not. With the reverse king of swords, they will be standing firm with the offer. However, be aware they may be using the ability to persuade you to take this offer. And with the ten of cups and the sun behind the back card, there is a potential for emotional fulfillment and happiness between you both. Just before accepting the offer, try to listen your heart. The ability to manipulate and persuade others may reveal some new aspects of the personality. With the Seven of Cups and the Chariot both reversed, I'm seeing them sacrificing their superficial choices by choosing you. They're ready to leave affairs, flings behind the back and fully open their heart to you. And with the hanged man, they're willing to wait as long as it takes. So don't be afraid to ask time if you need to reflect of the fast-changing situation. If you deeply care about this person, because I'm seeing that they care and desire you a lot, follow your heart. I'm seeing a beautiful romance on the horizon for most of you. Thank you for being with me today. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now, I will move to Virgo. Now, Virgo, welcome to your reading. So with the reversed Five of Pentacles, I'm feeling that you are dealing with a past breakup or a temporary separation between you and your partner. You may be dealing with the Taurus, the person with strong values and beliefs. And here, when together with a Knight of Cups, I'm feeling that your person has strong intuitive abilities. They are in touch with the intuition and the emotions. And they show compassion and understanding in the situation between you both. It's interesting that we also got the high of priestess. The year of a couple with the high priestess indicates very strong spiritual connection. You may even are involved in a spiritual group or some kind of institution together. There is something between you both that is ongoing and hardly explained in words. You may intimately feel like each other. However, with the reverse if of cups, there is a sense of limiting self-beliefs that we're preventing your person from moving forward. It could be relative to tradition, society norms. With the reverse young man, I'm feeling there will be a breakthrough realization. It will come as a positive sign that they can now move forward with a new perspective and a renewed sense of energy. Your person is recovering and healing from the separation. They are making positive changes in their life. The pain and sorrows are fading behind their backs. Thank you for being with me today and I hope this reading gave you some new insights and was helpful. And now... I will move to Libra. Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. The first card is a Three of Cups, which indicates celebrations and joy. You could be dealing with a friendship situation with the potential of becoming something more significant. The reverse high priestess calls on you to be still and direct your attention inward to listen to your voice and wisdom. Your personal mind could be keeping important information from you. Embrace an open and honest conversation to surface and address these secrets. With the Six of Cups, you could be dealing with the past lover or the sweetheart from your childhood friends. Your person feels strong soul connection with you. They feel joy and happiness when they are together with you. 
However, the reverse seven of swords, together with the reverse high priestess, gives me a sense of dishonesty and hidden agendas. I'm seeing lies and affairs could be involved as well. On the other side, your person may want to get into the high-level commitment for the wrong reasons. For example, from the fear to be single, or from selfishness, wishing stability and financial security. Something is not said and hidden. And with the world and the year front, I'm seeing the higher level commitment even merge for some of you. However, the Ten of Swords, which indicates betrayal, is behind the merge card. And with the reverse page of pentacles, it could indicate the false commitment built on lies. And with the reverse three of swords, there is a strong sense of jealousy. I'm strongly feeling that your person is hiding an affair. Try to look through the surface before committing. If it resonates with you with the third part involved, you may reconsider entering the commitment with this person. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. If a person is not cheating and are honest with you, the world card indicates the fulfillment and the wish coming true, so it could be two scenarios. So the most important trust your heart and intuition, feel which scenario resonates. If you have suspicion and mistrust your partner, try to find it through. It's only one way to avoid getting stabbed in the back out of nowhere at the end. So listen your heart and listen your intuition. Thank you for being with me. I hope this reading gave you some new insights and was helpful. And now I will move to Scorpio. So hi Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. With the reverse the year front, I'm seeing you are dealing with a divorce, a breakup situation. There could be a serious disagreement which was followed by the separation. With the two of swords, your person could be having the second thoughts. And they say two of cups. They feel very strong soul connection with you. However, with the reverse king of cups, I'm feeling the, the inability to express the emotions even though they're thinking about reconciling with you. And there's the queen of cups just after the king of cups appeared. You both mirroring each other. There could be silence between you two at the moment, but deep down you feel each other deeply. With the five of cups reversed, they could be feeling guilty and blaming themselves for the mistakes they made in this relationship. However, those are the lessons that will make them grow in the future relationships. With the reverse wall and the reverse tower, there is a need for the change to which a person is refusing to accept. They are still thinking about you, and they are having a hard time to let go of the past. There are still beautiful memories in their thoughts and mind and body. You still have a warm place in their heart, even if you had some bad disagreements before. There is love. However, there are some inner conflicts, wanting to scream inside. Without you, they're feeling lost and confused. It may help to have a honest, open heart conversation with them to put the lost pieces together that can help them to move forward. If you wish to reconcile with a person, I'm feeling that they will accept you with open arms and heart, regardless of, of being hurt. At the current energy, they feel that they lost the battle. They may contact you to apologize and may even ask you to reconsider the separation. Be forgiving and compassionate. If you don't want to get, get back together, still be kind. There is no need for conflicts anymore. We can end relationships peacefully and with the respect to each other. Thank you for being with me. I hope this reading gave you some new insights 
and was healthy. And I will move to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, with the reverse justice, your person feels that the situation between you both somehow is unfair. You may not be giving them attention as much as they wish. They could feel competition and see you getting attention from others. It indicated by the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups both reversed. I'm feeling that you have more people who are interested in you romantically than you are aware. It could be that they are talking with friends about you or there is competition between friends regarding you. Or you are showing way more attention to their friends than to them. In between those suitors, we have the star card in the upright position, which I strongly feel that represents a person. They may have Aquarius in the chart. And this energy shines with the positivity and a hope for a new romance and love. With the world, they think very highly about you. And the Justice card played together with the World card could indicate the physical distance between you both as well. It might be the reason why they feel that the situation is unfair. With the Ace of Wands, they find incredibly attractive and they wish a passionate beginning with you. However, there is a sense of external factors. As I said, it could be competition, other people's opinions about the connection between you both. With the Eight of Wands, the situation between you both is about to speed up. The changes is coming super fast. Unexpected sudden offer of the romance from your person could be on the horizon. Be ready for the changes. And the overall feeling of the change could feel very intense and life-changing. There is also a sign of pregnancy. So if you are not wanting babies yet, use protection. I'm seeing abundance coming your way from this person. However, there will be some obstacles. Could be some setbacks on the way as well. But it's only the temporary clouds before the sun will shine again. I'm feeling that they could feel overwhelmed by the situation. There is intense energy in the spread. The feeling could be all over the place when they think about you. And this is this also a sense of fear of being rejected. They feel like in a battlefield for you. And they wish to win you over. And with the Knight of Swords, they are coming very fast toward you and ready for the fight. They will be the one to ask you out, which may come as a surprise for you. Be ready. Be ready for a beautiful romance and a beautiful new start. Thank you for being with me, Sagittarius. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now, I will move to Capricorn. So Capricorn, the first card is the Wheel of Fortune. It's a destiny and fate card. You might meet this person in an unexpected event or some kind of situation where you had thought there was no possibility to meet someone who can become very significant for you. You may also be from different places or environments. This encounter, this relationship was destined to happen. And with the Tower cards, some kind of major changes are happening or will be happening pretty soon in your connection. It could be some unexpected conflicts, unexpected events, sudden news that will have a significant effect on your connection. I'm seeing a new direction, a change that will challenge both of you. And it may end up in the separation if you will not tackle your problems with a tolerance and clear mind. With the reverse hangman under the Wheel of Fortune card, your person tries to pause the power of the fate and look into the situation from the different perspective. The changes are so sudden that your person is feeling stuck and confused. You could be on the edge of the breakup, feeling that the separation is coming 
but both of you are resisting to this major change. And your person is sensitive. And this change, if it happens, the separation, it will require them quite much effort to adapt. But also with the two of cups, the strong bond between you two, there is a soul connection. As, and as I said, this is a destined, it's fate connection. So overall, what I'm feeling, that this connection is going through a major transformation that is challenging your connection. And it depends on both of you how you will deal with unexpected destroying power. I'm seeing for most of you that you will overcome these upcoming external obstacles and it will even strengthen your connection. And however, for the rest of you, I'm seeing giving up on the connection. My advice, as always, trust your heart and intuition. Thank you for being with me today, and I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now, I will move to Aquarius. So Aquarius, with the reverse star, your person is feeling like losing hope for the situation. There is self-doubt and lack of self-worth. These insecurities of your person may be evident in the separation between you both or some emotional distance. Your person appears in the cards as very vulnerable, emotional, with the sense of being afraid of reality and emotional intimacy. They find the issues between you both difficult to face. It could be caused by this by this struggle with self-acceptance. It could be leading to abuse of alcohol or drugs to escape. With the high priestess, your person may be holding something from you. It could be related with sexual intimacy between you both. There are some insecurities. They could be struggling accepting their own body image. With the Eight of Pentacles, your person wants to make this relationship work and they will be putting effort. But in order to bring this relationship into the balance and the harmony, both of you have to make some changes on your parts. And lovers indicate there is a strong connection between you both. There is a passion, joy, and happy moments in your connection. And the Three of Pentacles behind the Lover's card proves the willingness to collaborate and find compromises to the issues that you're facing together. Every relationship requires work, compassion, and understanding between partners. If you wish to bring this connection into the balance, embracing heart-to-heart -heart conversation would be a good start. However, if you're both feeling like this unhappiness will not end, and prolonging your relationship will hurt both of you, you may to end this relationship. Trust your intuition. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. And now I will move to the last sign today, Pisces. So Pisces, with the Queen of Pentacles, your person sees you as successful, beautiful, nurturing and loving. Your person appears as a Knight of Pentacles. They could be younger than you, or being a bit intimidated by you. You appear as a queen, they appear as a knight. And I'm feeling that this connection is pretty new. You may have met this person recently. I'm feeling a new fresh spark. An ace of wands indicates fire, sexual attraction, desire. They're dreaming about a passionate beginning with you. However, with the Four of Cups, the current energy is boredom, a lack of excitement. And you bring this fresh, exciting spark into their life. And with the Ten of Cups, I'm seeing a potential for a beautiful romance with emotional joy and happiness. However, with the Reverse High Priestess, is something hidden, not said yet. It could be the intentions of having something more with you. They could be hiding the passion for you from the friends as well. There are some secrets involved. 
With the chew of swords, they are feeling stuck in between two paths. They may have issues with the commitment in general. They may have to give up some things in their life, for example, one night stands, if they want to start something serious with you. And with the full reverse, it's very likely being the adventurer, jumping from one relationship to another, from one partner to another partner. It will not resonate with all of you, so take if it resonates, if not, just leave it. And as I said before, they appear as Knight of Pentacles, and Knight tends to move a little slower than most. They're patient and always think before they act, knowing what they want and how to get it. But with the Knight of Swords which appeared early in the reading, they may have some impulsive actions out of nowhere. For example, I'm feeling them initiating the conversation of asking you out or suggesting to get romantically involved. And it may come by surprise to you. Overall, I'm seeing a passionate beginning between you both. There's joy and excitement, fire and passion. And with the Ten of Cups, it could lead to a higher level of commitment. I hope this reading was insightful and helpful. Thank you for being with me today. I hope to see you the next time. Blessings, Spiritual Insight Tarot.